What's up guys, this is Channing coming at you with another Fujianese video. Today we are going to do from one uh, count number from 1 through 10. We're also going to uh, do the number 0 too. Um, before I get started, I want to make sure that uh, everybody knows this uh, one thing, is that my Fujianese pronunciation might be slightly or different from other people. It's because, you know, every language has, like, everybody has their own uh, pronunciation for different, like, different areas. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, same as English, um, like, uh, like, uh, like y'all, and depending on different words, you pronounce it differently, and, and plus different locations. So, just let you guys know that, uh, in case you guys, like, judge me on, on anything. But uh, I also, I might bring a uh, friend to do this video with me, so then you guys can, uh, get a difference between like two region because I grew up in a countryside while he grew up in a uh, I guess um, what do you call it? not urban but like uh, what do you call it outside outside city outer city I forgot to call it in English but uh, like really it's really close to uh, the countryside but he he was also in the city side like between the border line I forgot the word for it um, just let me know in the comment below that so yeah besides that um, I'm going to get started with the video all right, guys. So we're gonna start off with zero, uh, zero or zero through five, <laughs> and then we'll go on to five to ten. So uh, on this side, on the left side, uh, as you can tell, is Mandarin. Uh, Lin Yi er, San Si Wu. So as you can tell um, here, and then this side will be the Fujianese side. So um, all right, for Fujianese, zero is pronounced. Uh, ning, ning. It's basically um, the Mandarin Ling, but with the N sound. I don't know if there's be a G or not. I'm not like I mean, there's not a um, spelling for Fujianese, so it's not really a writing style in general. So I mean, I'm just trying my best to write it out in English uh, letters. So, <coughs> um, Ning, Ning, Ning. All right. There might be another way of of pronounce shit or uh, there might be another way probably like ling ling I don't know but uh let's just stick with this one for uh in case so yeah in case you know you use your friend or something so ning so ning all right for zero uh then one think of the English eight but without um the t sound so, uh, can you guys see it? I guess, I don't know. But, so yeah, the English A without the T sound. So, it'll be 8, 8, 8, 8. 1 is 8. So, yeah. Um, so, it's Ning, 8, 8, alright. Without the 8, 8, 8 without the T sound, alright. English 8 without the e T sound. Try my best here, um, you know, to... For you guys to, to learn how to pronounce it. Um, then two uh, in Fujianese is nay. I don't know. I, I really don't know how to spell this one out. But uh, I can compare it with nay. It's nay. Like nay nay. You know <laughs> the the uh, the English one. Uh, I think nay nay is a word, right? isn't it? I don't know. It's a name, I guess. Like I hear I hear a school call each other like nay nay, or call somebody nay nay. So. Let's just count from one through to five, because I mean zero zero never really match with the number uh, counting, so you already know zero is na, uh, ning. So uh, this one is uh, all right. One is a uh, eight nay eight nay. All right, eight nay one two. Uh, three is same thing as in like with every freaking Asian language. Uh, three is always sang sang. Like, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I just, I guess, whoever, like, uh, they love the, each language, like Korean or Japanese or something, whatever, they always use the word sang, like, it never really changes. In Korean, it does, uh, only in native Korean, but we're not doing that, but we're doing, you know, Fujianese. So, sang, so, eight, nay, sang, eight, nay, sang, just remember this one, nay, nay. <laughs> That's all. I, that's how. That's the only way I can give you guys a tip on. So eight nay sang, and then four is say, 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 
like oh like like you know British people would like say you know like it's like this is freaking you know like say you know like it's basically saying the word say but with a little bit accents into it so a nay sang say get it all right <laughs> hopefully this is doing I'm doing pretty good I don't know I'm on a streak maybe um, okay so then five would be uh no 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 uh, I don't know, it's kind of sound like no, but with the G sound, no. So try your best. I couldn't think of any um, like you know sound like close sound to it. So if you if people are watching this video um, that knows like any like similar sound to it, you know, leave it in the comment below so the other people can like um, you know uh, read it and stuff like that and help them out. I mean that's that's a key to learning a uh, to learning a language or dialect, whatever you want to call it, is to you know compare compare the sound to your own language or the things that you know. Alright, so is ning a ne sang se no. Alright, guys, got that? Alrighty. Uh we're on six now. Uh six to ten. So um six uh six is Leo T Ba Jo Shir that's uh six to ten in Mandarin. I'm sorry. I say six and and I kinda stop explaining the rest. But alright, so that's that's this size as you say, uh as you know it's uh Mandarin. Um so the the other side, um six and Fujinese is like like A Nay Sans A Nut yeah, no um I I always had to go start over like to from one to s count from one to six for me to memorize the pronunciation. So it's no, no, no. Yeah, it's n sound. So no, no, no. There's a slight slight t sound in there, but I mean, like besides, that, I really cannot figure out like English uh, things to it. But whatever, let's move on. I don't want to waste too much time. I want to let order. Uh, so no. Uh, seven is uh, really close to Mandarin. Tai. I don't know. Tai. A. Tai. <laughs> this is kind of bullshit here. Tai. 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 Uh, Tai. Tai. I don't know if you, or or it could be this one. Like I mean, Tai. With a T sound and A sound. Tai. So, uh, no. Tai. Uh, all right. So then, eight is uh, bite. B -b -b. Let me get my eraser. That's really bad. Uh, so it's bite. Like you know, I say bye, but saying the whole thing out, just say bite, bite. So, no, take bite. Don't, don't, don't. You know, fully pronounce this word right here. Don't fully pronounce it. So eight. Uh, no, no, take bite. Uh. Gao, Gao is a nine. G Gao. Um, so there's a word in Mandarin. Gao meaning high, or or yeah, high. So that's it. Was really a close sound to it. Gao, Gao, but it's not really Gao. It's just Gao. You know, Gao, Gao. It's a down tone. Let's just put it that way. I don't know. All right, then ten is Saint, like Saint. You know, like um. Saint and like a religion, religion, religion word saint, or whatever saint means. But like ten is really close to the word uh, um, saint. So just but instead of pronouncing saint, you just pronounce saint. So I'm trying to you know get everything close to it. So is no te bai gao saint. All right, you got there, you got that guys. Now I'm going to count from uh, one. Or I'll say zero, then I count from one to ten. So zero is ning. Then one is uh, eight. Then two nei. Three is sang. Four is say. Five is ngo. Six is no. Seven is tai. Eight is bai. Uh, nine is gao. And ten is uh, say. So eight nei sang say ngo no tai bai gao say. Um, I hope you guys got that. Most Asian language, to count numbers, you'll say um, like for to say eleven, you have to say ten plus a uh, ten one. So it would be sure e right. That's sure is one in Mandarin. I mean sure is ten in Mandarin, and then e is one. So you say sure e means eleven. 
but in Fujinese, it's a little different. You don't do that. I mean, you do do that, but the sound changes, like the tone changes. So you want to you want to say this. Uh, you want to say uh, say eight. You was it, 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 it does sound like it, but it's really a little a little thing. So um, we'll go into depth into that uh, in the next video. Right now, we're just gonna work on uh, uh, you know one through ten, so you can get a hang of it. But I mean, it's not that hard. It's just a little slight tone change in, into it. Uh, but we'll get into it next, uh, you know, video. <laughs> right now, I'll, uh, we'll work on this, and I'll also put um, I'll put like you know, text in the description box so you guys can look at it. Um, try to help me out here, guys. I mean, I'm trying to do my best to you know, do a Fujinese video, but I'm not personally. I don't really use it a lot. I don't really use Fujinese a lot in general, but. Hey, all right. Just want to, you know, put my uh, knowledge out there to the people that might want to learn it. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, you know, the counting.